Hello and welcome to Duplex's Health Minute. The central government has now allowed vaccination of pregnant women. The experts have suggested that pregnant women should be given priority on vaccination sites and should be allotted a fixed day and time to avoid mixing with the crowd. Obstetrician's consultation and permission will be required for vaccination of women with preeclampsia and immune suppression treatment. Scientists from the Nanyang Technological University Singapore have developed a rapid malaria testing kit that can deliver results in 30 minutes. The kit detects hemozoin, a byproduct found from the digestion of blood by the malarial parasite. The test can even quantify a very low number of parasites, enabling early diagnosis and real-time monitoring. The Drugs Controller General of India has granted emergency use approval to the mRNA-1273 single-dose vaccine in India. The vaccine may receive marketing approval based on the safety data of the first 100 beneficiaries. According to the Bombay Municipal Corporation's first pediatric zero survey, over 50% of kids in Mumbai already have antibodies to SARS-CoV-2. The results are encouraging, easing the fear of a third wave affecting children. Do you think the COVID-19 third wave may disproportionately affect children? Let us know by commenting below. Dear doctors, amidst the pandemic, your sacrifices for the safety and welfare of humanity are priceless and deserve lifelong gratitude. We truly thank you and wish you a very happy Doctor's Day. In this regard, Doplexus has organized exclusive panel discussion on endgame of COVID-19 today 3 p.m. onwards, where experts will discuss the current situation of the pandemic, the virus and its variants, available vaccine, and when the pandemic will come to an end. This National Doctor's Day, let us come together to combat the pandemic and secure a healthy future. Health Minute, the most liked segment of Doplexus, brings you the latest happenings in the medical field. Stay tuned for more insights. Happy duplexing!